What's going on, YouTube? Wait a minute. This doesn't feel right. Echo, turn lamp blue. Yeah. Now, let's drink some beer. Well, now that the mood is set, we're going to have some beer. Today, we're having Jackie O's Mystic Mama Dry Hot IPA. With all the different types of IPAs and everybody making an IPA, it can be really confusing knowing what the heck you're drinking just by looking at the can. Let's dig into this a little bit. What does dry hop even mean? To make it as simple as I can, it's basically when they add hops post boil. This can be during primary or secondary fermentation. It's basically on the cold side of brewing, so not on the hot side, so on the cold side of brewing. This allows there to be that nice, good hop aroma with not as much of that kind of bitter, hoppy taste. But this is a West Coast style IPA. So West Coast style IPA, this is where a little more traditional It's where you can get the super hop heavy, piney, citrusy. In layman's terms, it's probably gonna smell a lot like pot. Um, you're gonna have some resiny type smell. If you're talking East Coast IPA, that's when you, that means hazy IPA, New England IPA. A little more fruit forward, a little less hoppy, uh, still equally delicious. I tend to lean more towards that hazy, citrusy style IPA. But nonetheless, this Jackie O's Mystic Mama is a beautiful representation of a West Coast IPA. Uh, it's very popular here in Ohio, um, as it is brewed right here in Athens, Ohio, actually. All right, let's give it a shot. Can-wise, it's cool. It's got that purple, almost kind of Lakers feel, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got the purple. It's actually done by a local artist, so I'm not sure if they use local artists for all their cans, but for this one, this can was designed by local artists, so that's always really cool. I always appreciate that. Let's see what it looks like. A little heavily carbonated, but I think that might be my fault. I just grabbed it out of the fridge, so. But look-wise, it's actually surprisingly clear on my end. I don't know what it looks like on your end, but here it almost it's fairly light looking. It kind of looks it's not quite that that dark amber color that you normally get from an IPA. But really good. I can tell that there's a lot of cool stuff going on um, at the top. Um, you can tell by all the bubbles are different are different shapes. They're diff different circles. It's not uniform. Um, just like baking bread, like you, like yeast bubbles are always really really cool to see. So let's taste it. Man, is that good? I do get that big bold hop poppiness right there at the beginning. Um, pine. Uh, resin, uh, citrus notes. Smell-wise, I get a lot of that. It smells like a lot like a forest, right? There's some. There's a lot of those kind of uh, smells in there. Um, still really, really good, surprisingly light. Yeah, this is really good. I can see why Ohio loves this beer. It is going to be 7% alcohol, which is pretty standard for West Coast IPAs. Uh, so anyways, I enjoy it. Let's give it a rating though. So I have to grade this based on other West Coast IPAs, right? And I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5 as far as other West Coast IPAs that I've had. I think it's really good. It's delicious. It's obviously uh, handcrafted. It's obviously, uh, they're obviously using good ingredients. Um, I think it's really, really good. Uh, anyways, if you liked what you saw, please make sure you like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Until then, man, drink what you like, drink what you love, then share with a friend. Thanks. Cheers.